Picture this, the year is 1492 and a bold Italian explorer named Christopher Columbus sets sail across the Atlantic, destined to stumble upon the Americas, or so the story goes. We often hear tales of Christopher Columbus, the intrepid explorer who is credited with discovering the Americas. Yet these lands were far from uninhabited. In fact, they were teeming with millions of people, hundreds of smaller nations, and even empires such as the Inca in Peru and the Aztecs in Mexico. Columbus, on a mission to find a direct water route west from Europe to Asia, ended up on the shores of the Americas. Not once, not twice, but four times. His voyages in 1492, 1493, 1498, and 1502, though not achieving their initial goal, charted a course into a new era. Yet, was Columbus truly the first European to set foot on the New World? As it turns out, a Viking explorer named Leif Erikson had already sailed to Greenland and Newfoundland in the 11th century, a good 400 years before Columbus. Erikson, like Columbus after him, sought a new world. His high-prowled Viking ship crossed the Atlantic Ocean, eventually landing in what we now call Newfoundland. But the story doesn't end there. There's also a compelling body of evidence suggesting that Polynesians, known for their expert sailing skills, may have reached the Americas centuries before Columbus. So did Columbus discover America? Not quite. But he did establish a significant trade route, a route that transported not just goods, but also enslaved people. His journeys marked the beginning of centuries of exploration and colonization of North and South America. Columbus's impact, however, was not just about exploration and trade. His voyages also brought about devastating consequences for the indigenous peoples of the Americas. But that's a story for another time. As we delve deeper into the annals of history, we find that the story of America's discovery is not as straightforward as it might initially seem. The mystery of discovery is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of exploration, ambition, and human resilience. Stay tuned as we unravel this intriguing narrative. Rewind the clock further back to the 11th century. The Vikings, led by Leif Erikson, were carving out their own path of exploration. In an era when most believed the world to be flat, the Vikings dared to challenge the status quo. With their high-prowled Viking ships, they dared to venture into the unknown, navigating the harsh and unpredictable waters of the Atlantic Ocean. At the helm was Leif Erikson, a man whose thirst for discovery was surpassed only by his courage. Erikson was born into a family of explorers. His father, Eric the Red, was the founder of the first European settlement in Greenland. Like father, like son, Erikson was driven by an insatiable curiosity. He yearned to venture beyond the familiar and into the great uncharted wilderness. It was this unyielding spirit that led Erikson and his crew to set sail on a journey that would etch their names in the annals of history. They ventured westward, navigating through foggy, ice-laden waters and braving the unforgiving wrath of the Atlantic. Their journey was treacherous, their path uncertain, but their resolve unwavering. After weeks at sea, they sighted land. What lay before them was a rugged coastline, blanketed by a dense forest. They had arrived at what is now known as Newfoundland. Here they found an abundance of resources. Timber for building, iron for tools, and rivers teeming with salmon. They had discovered a new world, a land of opportunity. This was not just a mere landing, it was a discovery that would change the course of history. Centuries before Columbus, Erikson had set foot on North American soil. He and his crew were the first Europeans to do so, challenging the narrative that Columbus discovered America. Thus, Erikson and his band of Vikings, not Columbus, were the first Europeans to set foot in the Americas. In the grand scheme of history, it is often the victors who write the story. But as we delve deeper into the past, we uncover truths that challenge these established narratives. As we continue this journey, let us remember to question, to explore, and most importantly, to seek the truth. But even before the Vikings, there were others who dared to venture into the unknown, enter the Polynesians. The Polynesians, a group of seafaring people, set out on a voyage across the vast Pacific Ocean, hundreds of years before Columbus or Erikson ever set sail. Known for their exceptional navigation skills, they journeyed thousands of miles across open water, guided by the stars, the wind, the waves, and the flight of birds. The Polynesians were not just expert sailors, but also master builders. Their double-hulled canoes, built with precision and finesse, were designed to withstand the harshest conditions of the open sea. These vessels, capable of carrying dozens of people along with plants and animals, 
were the keys to their exploration and eventual settlement of the far-flung islands of the Pacific. But their voyages didn't stop at these islands. There's compelling evidence suggesting that the Polynesians in their daring explorations reached the shores of the Americas long before Columbus or Ericsson. This evidence comes in different forms, from the presence of sweet potatoes, a South American plant, in Polynesian diets before European contact, to the genetic traces of Polynesians found in indigenous populations of South America. These findings challenge the traditional narrative of discovery and point towards a more complex history. A history where the Polynesians, with their navigational prowess and their remarkable seafaring canoes, embarked on a journey that took them across the world's largest ocean and led them to the Americas. However, much like the Viking voyages, the Polynesian exploration of the Americas didn't lead to lasting settlements or significant cultural exchange. Their voyages were sporadic, driven more by exploration and the spirit of adventure than the desire for conquest or colonization. In the vast expanse of the Pacific, the Polynesians charted their own course, adding another layer to the complex history of America's discovery. And so we see that the story of discovery is not a simple tale of one man, one voyage, or one discovery. It is a rich tapestry of countless journeys made by diverse peoples, each contributing to the intricate history of human exploration. Despite not being the first, Columbus's journeys had a profound impact, both positive and negative. Unfolding the pages of history, we find that Columbus, an ambitious Italian explorer, certainly did not discover America, but his voyages dramatically reshaped the world as we know it. Columbus's expeditions established a direct connection between the Old World and the New, paving the way for an era of exploration, conquest, and colonization that would forever alter the course of human history. Let's begin with the positive aspects. Columbus's journeys opened a new world to the Europeans, sparking a wave of exploration that would eventually map the entire planet. His voyages also led to the establishment of permanent trade routes across the Atlantic. These routes became major highways for commerce, allowing for the exchange of goods and ideas between Europe and the Americas. Furthermore, Columbus's voyages introduced Europe to a plethora of new plants. Potatoes, tomatoes, and tobacco were among the products of the Americas that Columbus and other explorers brought back to the Old World. These crops, particularly the potato, would revolutionize European agriculture and cuisine and play a significant role in population growth. However, the consequences of Columbus's voyages were not all rosy. The arrival of Columbus and subsequent European settlers brought a wave of devastation upon the indigenous peoples of the Americas. They brought with them diseases such as smallpox and typhus, against which the Native Americans had no immunity. The resulting epidemics wiped out large portions of the native populations, causing social and cultural disintegration. In addition to disease, the arrival of Columbus marked the beginning of a brutal period of conquest and colonization. Native peoples were forcibly removed from their lands, enslaved and often killed. Columbus himself is known to have ordered the execution of rebellious natives during his governorship of Hispaniola. This cruel treatment set a precedent for the genocidal campaigns against indigenous peoples that would follow in the centuries to come. Moreover, Columbus's voyages initiated the transatlantic slave trade. Captured natives were transported across the Atlantic to serve as slaves in the European colonies, marking the beginning of a tragic chapter in human history. To sum up, the voyages of Columbus were a turning point in world history. They ushered in an age of exploration and discovery, transforming the world in numerous ways. But these voyages also had profound and devastating effects on the indigenous peoples of the Americas. The legacy of Columbus is a complex one, marked by both remarkable achievements and horrific atrocities. Columbus's journeys, while not the first, undeniably altered the course of history in the Americas. The exploration of our world is a complex tapestry riddled with fascinating stories and unexpected connections. The discovery of the Americas was not a mere event, but a series of explorations that spanned centuries and involved diverse cultures. It extends beyond Columbus, reaching back to the Vikings and Polynesians. Every journey, each step into the unknown adds a piece to the puzzle. This quest for knowledge, driven by historians and archaeologists, continues today. Picture the Viking longboats in the North Atlantic or the Polynesian canoes navigating the Pacific using the stars as their guides. 
Columbus setting sail into the unknown for a new route to Asia is also a part of this narrative. These stories have shaped our understanding of the world and they're still being told. Let's recognize the contributions of indigenous civilizations and the richness of their cultures. The Americas were not discovered in the 15th century. They had been inhabited for millennia by diverse civilizations. We need to question, explore, and expand this narrative. You also have a role in this. Each time you delve into a history book, visit a museum, or question an assumption, you're contributing to our collective understanding of the world. History is not just about the past, but about understanding our present and shaping our future. So, who really discovered America? Perhaps the answer lies not in a single, but in the multitude of stories woven into the fabric of our shared history. Speaking of journeys, you too can embark on one of your own. By joining our community, you become an explorer, a historian, a knowledge seeker. Just like the great adventurers of the past, you're setting sail into a sea of discovery. Press that subscribe button and join us. You've relished this journey so far. Give this video a thumbs up. Picture a compass needle spinning, then pointing straight at the like button. So set your course, dive into the tapestry of our world's history. Every like, every share, every subscribe is a step on this journey. Together, let's keep exploring, let's keep discovering, and let's keep weaving the rich tapestry of our shared history.